a very good day to my lecturer and also uh, friends. So this is my presentation on the die casting process. Uh, this presentation is by Nur Ali Amira binti Muhammad Nur Ain and my metric number is HB21026 and this is for our BHA2403 manufacturing processes. So what is die casting process? Die casting, die casting process is a manufacturing process that uses that uses to produce metal parts with high precision and complex shape. It involves injecting motor metal, usually non-ferrous alloys such as aluminum and zinc, under high pressure into a reusable steel mold called a die. So the sustainability, when can sustainability during the die casting process can be maintained? Maintaining sustainability during the die casting process involves implementing practices that minimizes the environmental impact, reduces energy consumption, optimizes material usage, and promotes cycling. Here are some of the ways that I have found that sustainability can be achieved in die casting. Firstly, the material selection. Choosing the appropriate metal alloy for die casting plays a significant role in sustainability. Opting for recyclable materials such as aluminium or magnesium reduces the demand for primary raw materials and promote the use of recycled content. Secondly, process optimization. Employing advanced processes, simulation tools, and software can help optimize the die casting process. By simulating the filling, solidification, and cooling stages, potential design flaws or inefficiencies can be detected and addressed before the production. Thirdly, continuous improvement and certification. Adopting a culture of continuous improvement and seeking certifications can help drive sustainability efforts in die casting facilities. So by implementing these sustainable practices, die casting companies can minimize their environmental footprint, conserve resources, reduce waste generation, and contribute to a more sustainable manufacturing industry. Next, what can we do to reduce energy consumption during the die casting process? So reducing the energy consumption during the die casting process can be contributed to sustainability and cost saving. Firstly, optimizing the machine parameters. This can be done by fine-tuning the operating parameters of the die casting machine to optimize energy consumption. Adjusting parameters such as injection, pressure, and cycle time can improve efficiencies. Next, the insula insulation and heat recovery. Insulating the heating elements on hot, surface, hot surfaces of the die casting machine to minimize heat loss and improve energy efficiencies. This, this heat recovery system can capture and reuse waste heat and generated during the process from the cooling or the exhaust gas to preheat incoming material or to provide energy for other processes. Next, melting process efficiency. Enhancing the efficiency of the metal melting process, optimizing the furnace design and insulation will be to reduce the heat loss and improve the energy transfer. So, by implementing these Energy saving measures, die casting facilities can significantly reduce energy consumption, lower operational costs, and contribute to a more sustainable manufacturing process. So, the renewable energy that can be used during the die casting process can help reduce emission of greenhouse gas and dependency on fossil fuels. Firstly, we can use biomass energy for the heat generation. Biomass Boilers can burn organic waste materials such as wood chip, sawdust, or agriculture re re residues to generate heat for melting the metal. Next, power purchase agreements or PPAs. These the companies can enter into agreements with renewable renewable energy providers to purchase energy or electric generated from renewable sources. This allows the facility to support renewable energy production and access clean energy without the need of for on-site renewable infrastructures. Collaborations and partnership. Explore collaborations with local renewable, renewable energy providers or government initiative promoting renewable energy adoption. This can lead to shared investment in renewable energy infrastructure, access to initiative or grants, or joint project focuses on renewable energy integration. So by adopting these measures, die casting facilities can make significant progress towards using renewable energy resources, reducing carbon footprint, and contributing to a more sustainable future. 
Waste redu reduction strategy during the die casting process is very important to help minimize material waste, reduce environmental impact, and improve operational efficiencies. Firstly, optimizing the gate gating and runner system. So the company should design the gating and runner system in the mold to be to minimize material waste. They can use computer simulation and flow analysis tools to optimize the gating and runner layout. I'll ensure proper filling of the mold cavity while minimizing the amount of excess material required. This can reduce scrap and improve material utilization. Next, lean manufacturing principles. Implementing lean manufacturing principles such as 5S methodology and value stream mapping to identify and eliminate waste throughout the production system. Optimizing the fruit flow, reduce unnecessary holding, handling, or movement of materials and streamlining the operation will help in minimizing the waste generation supplier collaboration collaborate with material suppliers to explore options for reducing packaging waste and optimizing material delivery methods encourage the suppliers to use sustainable packaging materials and consolidate deliveries to minimize packaging waste and transportation related emission so with these strategies die casting facilities Facilities can minimize material waste, optimize resource utilization, and reduce environmental footprint while also improving their efficiency and cost effectiveness. Next, where does where does the die casting process use germ, green chemistry in its processes? So die casting processes can incorporate green chemistry principles and practices to minimize their environmental impact. So firstly, the, clean, the cleaner melting and alloying. Green chemistry promotes the use of cleaner and more efficient melting processes. Technologies such as electric induction furnaces or energy efficient melting methods can be employed to minimize energy consumption and reduce emission. Nextly, environmental friendly lubricants. Die casting often use the use of lubricants or release agents to facilitate the ejection of the cast part from the mold. Green chemistry encourages the use of environmental friendly lubricants that have minimal impact on human health and the environment. Biodegradable or water-based lubricants can be used as an alternative to traditional or oil-based lubricants. Next, safer cap chemical handling. So green chemistry emphasizes the safe handling and the use of chemicals. So die casting facilities can implement proper chemical storage, handling and disposal procedures to minimize environmental contamination and ensure worker safety. By integrating green chemistry principle into die casting processes, facilities can reduce the environmental footprint of the operation, improve efficiency and contribute to a more sustainable industry. So why industry should be using sustainable materials to aid the, the die casting process? So the use of sustainable materials in the die casting process can bring several benefits, both environmentally and economic, economically. So firstly, the improved part properties. Sustainable materials can improve mechanical and physical properties compared to traditional materials. For example, aluminum alloys offer high strength high strength, corrosion resistance, and excellent thermal conductivity. This enhanced properties allow for the production of high-quality parts that meet demanding performance requirements contributing to overall sustainability and longevity. Regulatory compliance. The use of sustainable materials aligned with evolving regulation and sustainable sustainability goals set by governments and industry worldwide. Many countries and regions have implemented innovative initiatives to promote the use of sustainable materials and reduce environmental impact. Next, market demand and brand image. Sustainability has become a key factor in consumer and business purchasing decision. Using sustainable material in die casting, in die casting can enhance a company's brand image and market appeal. Customers increasingly value environmentally friendly products and are willing to support companies that prioritize sustainability. Incorporating sustainable materials into the die casting process allows businesses to meet the, the market demand, attract environmentally conscious customers, and differentiate themselves in the competitive work marketplace. By leveraging sustainable materials in die casting processes, Manufacturers can achieve environmental benefits, cost saving, regulatory compliance, and improve market positioning. This contributes 
to a more sustainable industry and aligns with the growing demand for more, for more environmental friendly products. Uh, so for the product design, industries often use the die casting process to focus on product designs due to several key advantages and opportunities. Dimensional accuracies and consistencies are very much important for several industries and die casting offers an excellent dimensional accuracy and repeatability. The use of precision mold and high pressure casting ensures consistent part dimensions and tight tolerance. This level of accuracy is crucial for appliances where part needs to fit together specifically or to meet specific performance requirement. Next, cost efficiency. Die casting offers a very big cost advantages for high value production. The high speed production cycle, minimal material waste, and the ability to produce net shape products reduces manufacturing costs. The initial tooling costs can be offset by the long-term benefit of high, high productivity and consistent part quality. Scalability. Die casting is highly scalable, making it suitable for both small and large production run. The ability to quickly produce high volume of parts with minimal variation in quality and dimensional accuracy is advantageous for industries that requires huge quantities of components. So scalability ensure that the design can be efficiently realized in mass production without comprising, compromising quality or design integrity. Overall, die casting process empowers the designers to push the boundary of product design, achieve complex geometries, ensure dimensional accuracies, and achieve cost-effective production. So what benefit will the industries gain if they invest in employee training in this process? Improved productivity is one of the main reasons why industries should invest in employee training employee training for the die casting process. Proper training equips employees with the knowledge and skill required to perform their tasks efficiently. By investing in trainings, industries can enhance employee productivity, reduces errors, and minimizes production downtime. Well-trained employees can operate machinery and equipment effectively, optimize process parameters, and troubleshoot ideas, leading to improved overall productivity, adaptability, and facility flexibility. Training equips employees with a diverse skill set that allows them to adapt to changing production demands and operate different machinery or equipment. Cross-training employees in various aspects of the die-casting process enhances their versatility, enabling them to handle different tasks and feeling for others if needed. Competitive advantage. Investing in employee training in gives industries a competitive edge in the marketplace. Well-trained employees can drive process efficiencies, maintain product quality, and adapt to changing customer demands more effectively. This leads to shorter lead time, improved customer service, and the ability to take on more complex or specialized projects. So overall, investing in employee training for the die casting process brings numerous benefits for the company and the employee, which involves improved productivity, enhanced quality insurance, adaptability to change, and a competitive edge in the market. This is a valuable investment that contributes to the long-term success and growth of the industry. So what would be the life cycle assessment for the die casting process? A life cycle assessment, LCA, for the die casting process would involve evaluating the environmental impacts associated with the entire life cycle of the product from raw material extraction to the end of life disposal. So the raw material extraction assess the environmental impacts associated with the extraction and processing of raw materials raw materials used for the process material production evaluating the energy consumption emission and waste generated during the production of die casting alloys die casting process assess the environmental impacts associated with the die casting process itself involving involving the energy consumption during metal melting, the use of lubricants, release of emissions or pollutants, and any waste generated during the, during the casting process. Finishing operations. Consider any possible operation or processes involved in the finishing of the die casting part, including the surface treatment, machining, painting, or, count, or coating. Product use phase. Evaluate the environmental impacts associated with the use of die cast port products including product consum uh, including energy consumption emission any potential environmental benefits or burden 
resultant from the usage of that particular diecast part. End of life management assess the environmental impacts associated with the disposal or recycling of the diecast products at the end of their life cycle and transportation. Consider the die. Consider the environmental impacts associated with transporting raw material, finished product, and waste throughout the entire life cycle of the diecast part. So, by conducting a comprehensive life cycle assessment for diecasting process, industries can identify. The key environmental spot hotspot, evaluate the environmental impact and improve and find opportunities for improvement. This assessment helps in making informed decision to optimize the die casting process and the entire sustainability of the process, including the performance of the product. So how can recyclability of discarded product be executed? Well, firstly, Industries can have recycling facility partnership that they can establish partnership with reputable recycling facilities or scrap metal processors that specializes in recycling of die cast material. These facilities have the expertise and equipment to process the collected materials and extract the recyclable metal. Next, quality control. Implementing quality control measures to ensure the integrity and consistency of the material. From, from testing and analyze and analyze the materials to verify the composition, mechanical properties, and performance of the recycled metal. This ensures that the recycled materials meet the required standard and can be used with confidence in the die casting process. Next, monitoring and reporting. Implement a motor monitoring system that tracks the amount of material recycled and the environmental benefits that it achieves. Keep records of the quantity of the material recycled, energy savings, and emission reduction that result from the recycling efforts. So by implementing a well-structured recycle process, industries can effectively recover and reuse discarded, discarded products and waste generated during the die casting project. This not only reduces the demand for primary raw material but also minimizes the waste disposal and contributes to a more sustainable circular approach to manufacturing. And that is all from my presentation today. Uh, I thank you for listening to my presentation. Uh, thank you.